Welcome to Gigi's Altered Objects. I'm sharing one of my favorite types of crafting projects. This is an interactive mini album. This album is of my own design and it was inspired by the Tin Holtz line of products. I first became aware of the Tim Holt products searching for this little fantastic tool. It ages and tatters paper edges and I was hooked and started searching for more. I wanted to complete a more masculine project and this is what I came up with using mostly Tim Holtz paper and Emphoria along with Ranger's Distress inks. I used this one mostly, Vintage Photograph. And I also used the Prima Rust paints, and that is what you see on the cover. So it was a combination of three rust paints, red rust, brown rust, and gold rust. And there's no rhyme or reason on how to use those, except start with the darker, I guess, and move with the lighter. Um, this was a metal object. These were all black. Um, these are buttons and this is cardboard behind and you can see they all look like they're tarnished metal just using those products. Okay, open up to the first page. Here we have some a, a park bench seating area with a strong metal embellishment. I just put some gold um, paint on those and the first page is made of a couple little pot pockets and of course masculine items like the clock brad. This is a picture frame, pulls out. And on this side pockets for more items and a clip for a picture. Here there's a, a little, it looks like a shoe shine man's bag or perhaps it's a suitcase and so I tucked in some little mail items there. Here we have a photo mat. Turn the page and I have an envelope and it has journaling paper inside. Of course you can put pictures in there and here. Here is a little book. The hat is part of the fastener and inside there's a little folded map. And this opens up this way and here's a little envelope this is a graphic 45 envelope and here's a waterfall and like I said most of these are Tim Holtz papers that I'm using here we have a pocket and behind the top hat. Again, I, I did this with glossy accents to make it firm so that you could have the little booklet behind it, just a tiny little booklet with a little hat brad on the outside. Each uh, page has a pullout. The pullouts are six and a half by seven photo mats with space on each side. And I used a Martha Stewart punch on the edges. Uh, again, this is one of my favorites. It looks like a door. This is a graphic 45 door knocker. Um, this may be a Prima Flower. I don't remember. This is probably a graphic 45 door knob. It actually turns and a key that may be from my Wish collection. And it opens up. And here I've done torn paper on either side and included a little journaling or photo mat card. This little journaling item I've included these in several different books. This one, I just love this stamp. Uh, the stamp, I obviously stamped and cut out and then did several the same way and put a brad. And that came from the stamp um, convention that they have in Grapevine each, each year and it's just stamps. It's a small convention, but it's wonderful. All right, on the next page, you have tag pullouts and of course you can put pictures on either side of them. Pictures here or journaling on the tags. They flip open this way. They're closed with magnets and again on this side there are tags that pull out for pictures on either side and on the tags. 
here it is. Uh, this is a fussy cutted from the Tim Holtz paper with a little tag tucked inside. Here's a photo mat. You can remove it or put a picture right on it. Behind the suitcase is a little pull and it's just a, a simple booklet with a page for little pictures and journaling on the back. Open it up. And here we have a journaling tag, photo mat, and a little bag for souvenirs, pictures, notes. This lifts up, closes with a magnet, places for pictures or journaling. This is another one of my signature items, the zippers. And I like to pop inside of the zipper these little booklets. I stamped on the outside to make them look uh, travel worthy did some stamping on the inside as well several pages for journaling and photos and the other one as well here i did a top hat and it has a little mini book in the center of it so some people have asked me um, how i begin a project and with this i had in mind something for a brother or a, a father or uncle and as I did each page, I was thinking like, I looked at my items, this one I saw a bunch of things that had to do with old typewriters. So the, I collected all those together and put those on this page. So this one has a Tim Holtz little clip and inside a book typed with some seam binding. And there's a telephone brad, another brad that's a, a typewriter and it opens all the way up. Plenty of room for photos on the front and the back. And behind this typewriter, I have a few cards just to show. You can use this as a photo mat, tuck pictures behind there. And then this closes with a magnet, opens up. And here you have more places to uh, put photos and it opens up one more time. Here's another tuck for a photo. Um, there's a photo mat on this side. Here is a photo mat. And I have a little metal embellishment here with an envelope that opens up. And of course has something hidden inside. This one's just a paper for journaling. I like all the secret openings and closings. All right, on this side, the um, idea was clocks, you can see. So I found this little clock embellishment and this uh, clock paper. And then this is attached with a brad and it has a belly band opens up with a small book. There's a brad and some stamping into a larger book with an envelope and some stamping. And one more time. And then that affixes with the belly band and the magnet to that page. And I really liked these little books I was using uh, when I was doing this product. So this time I just did some fussy cutting from some of the Amphira cards, um, old time costumes. Again, this page, this is all cardboard, um, regular button, even some cloth, and what I just used, the Prima rust paints to get that effect and the two little booklets with the Amphora fussy cutting. And then this one opens up. And here this the was cameras is a the theme on this paper. And so what else would you have a photo of but a wedding photo? So I included an old wedding photo. So that can be a photo mat on either side. Um, this camera opens up. Again, I rusted the hinges on this. And so film, again, or cameras was the theme on this page. And then on the back, I have an envelope. This was done with the um, distress stain. And around the journaling paper. And a little tag with some seam binding. And then more of the rusting effect on this side. And a little pullout 
and tiny photographs. So that is one of my Ode to Tim Holtz albums. Tomorrow I'm going to be with my bestie Sherry Thomas at the Scrapbook Convention in Arlington. For the past three years Tim Holtz has been there but I haven't got my nerve up to ask him if he will sign or look at or comment on my book. Um, this year I'm going to bring it with me and maybe I will get the nerve up to ask him to sign it. Thank you very much. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell me what kind of projects you might like to see. Thank you.